Item number SCP-1722, Object Class Safe, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1722 is to be housed in Standard Storage Locker within Site-19. No further security measures are necessary. No written records or computers are permitted within the testing chamber outside of pre-approved testing materials. All data is to be transcribed from video after testing is completed. If tests require that a camera be brought within SCP-1722's area of effect, staff overseeing testing are to communicate in American Sign Language. Description SCP-1722 is a branch of White oak measuring approximately 1.7 meters in length. SCP-1722 is decorated with various acrylic paint, colored duct tape, strips of leather, and feathers of the Canada goose. A partially completed string bracelet is attached to the item. Removed decorations have no anomalous properties of their own. When SCP-1722 is held by a human subject, the contents of all physical and digital documents within a 5-meter radius will be permanently altered to contain handwritten commentary and proofreading notes, often in sufficient quantity to hinder the reading of the document. Video footage and audio recordings can be altered by the addition of a voice providing commentary, similar to edits made to text. This voice is that of an adult male, estimated to be approximately 60 years of age. No information contained within affected records would be deleted, and likewise no information would be added. Handwriting, vocabulary, syntax is consistent across all alterations. Addendum 1. Wordable Commentary a speech written by Beep, an 18th century member of the British Parliament. Look, now you're on the hate track here. And just think about what you're saying. Storming down on the colonists is just going to get ugly for all parties involved. Best option would be to keep them a semi-autonomous district, with a locally elected official serving as regional governor, accompanied by a second position that serves as representative in Parliament. Also, I'll get over those curly Fs. They're annoying as shite to read. In an excerpt of Immersion Deeps, a fan fiction, there's the fifth apostrophe out of place in this freaking paragraph. You know what? Frick it. I'm not reading this anymore. The remaining 71 pages are unedited. A recording of an infomercial of Andy Helping Hampers. Who the hell can't store their own clothing? Like... Are you literally so incompetent with those gigantic meaty lobster claws that you call hands that you can't figure out how to store and fold your own clothing? Really? Uh, two for twenty is a pretty good deal when you think about it. Maybe I can give them to someone for Christmas. Smash Master, a single issue comic book. Wait, what? Wait, what? Why is he doing this? Why is she doing that? What's wrong with his arm? Um, what's wrong with her boobs? Who paid for this? Who paid money to read this? Why are they wearing tights in the Arctic? Does this guy ever go to art school? What does this monologue even mean? What does this mean? Why does this exist? Why? A United States 1040 income tax form. I know what would be great. A flat rate sales tax. You get more tax revenue due to the lack of exceptions. It's already graded for wealth levels, and you get to cut all the IRS. Oh, wait, America. Sultan of Spice, a romance novel. And then they screwed, and good God, this pose is purple. Within one at a page. A recording of Like a Rolling Stone by Bob Dylan. Voice sings along the entire song. Voice is not to be off tune. The singing is occasionally interrupted by interjections. Yeah, you tell him, Bob! Prince Ham, it's Sedicry, in Act 1, Scene 2 of Hamlet. God damn it, shut up! French art house film, Joyeux Fromage. Entire commentary is in fluent French, criticizing the writing, acting, though praising the imagery. A video recording of SCP-1422 experiment. Oh, look, it's a guy with steak. Wonderful, wonderful. And the guy walks in. Hey, Bob, how's it going? Oh, you know, just holding the steak here. Oh, really, that sounds interesting. Here, hold this book. Gee whiz, Frank. 
Now I'm holding both a stick and a book, and ah, do something already! 